In this video, I'm going to show you how to georeference a point cloud from the SX10 dataset. Um, usually, when we talk about georeferencing, we're uh, hoping to find some point pairs from your surveyed control points and the point cloud so that TBC can make the match and move the point cloud to the proper location. Um, because of the unique nature of SX10, it's a total station that scans, we can actually georeference the point cloud in a unique way. And here I'm going to show you how. So in this data set, as you can see, uh, it sits at this arbitrary location, 5,000, 3,000, and it's centered at station ST1, and it has another station called ST2. Then from these two locations, the surveyor made more uh, topo shots and he also scanned the surrounding area. But since right now this uh, point cloud is sitting in the arbitrary location, we want to move it to a real world position. How do we do that? First, let's see. These are the coordinates of station one and station two. And if we um, look at the imported files, the current JXL, which is not georeferenced yet, you can also see how these ST1 and ST2 were uh, set up in the field. In ST1, um, we, we kind of uh, assumed an azimuth in the field, and then for ST2, it's kind of uh, backsiding to the previous point, ST1. So here is what we're going to do. First, we can delete the assumed azimuth. If you um, want to make sure, you can de delete it or simply disable it as the status. But here, I'm just going to delete it. Mm, TBC will throw this recompute project uh, circle right away, but we don't have to worry about it um, now. And then the next thing we want to do is to make sure um, this station ST2 will become the new backside point for station ST1. Um, so here is what we can do. Go to the back bearing section of station number one and choose the last observation ST1 to ST2. Right now, it is not a backside observation. We can change it to yes. Then we are already telling TBC, okay, I want to backside to ST2 to set up my first station. But right now, these two stations um, coordinates are still wrong. How do we change that? I already have this CSV available. So here I'm going to drag and drop it in. Okay, I'm dragging and drop this CSV file in. I know it's in easting northing elevation order, and I'm going to choose this control quality for these two points. You will know why. Next, next, we're not going to change any of the settings. Then immediately TBC asked me if I want to merge these points. Usually I will just say yes, but in this case, I will uncheck the boxes for now. Import. As you can see, the extent of this project uh, becomes much bigger than before. These two points we just imported are located in the correct position, as you can see the easting and northing, and the previous point cloud is still somewhere near 5,000, 3,000. Now, this is what we are going to do. For these two ST1 points, select them, and then go, you can go to the survey tab, merge points, and expand this list. As you can see, we have the control quality points, which comes from our CSV, and we have the original survey quality point that comes from our job file. I'm going to include both and use my control quality point as my final point here, and hit apply. Boom, most of the point cloud is already somewhere near our final location, but we're not done yet. 
ST2 is still using the assumed or arbitrary point uh, uh, coordinate, and we need to change that. So choose these two points with the merge points command, include the other one, make sure the control quality will be used as the final. This time we can hit OK to apply and close the command. Now let's recompute the project again. And you can middle, uh, double click the middle wheel. This time, as you can see, ST1 is sitting at the correct location. ST2 is sitting at the correct location as well. The point cloud, together with other topo shots, are also rotated and located at the correct position. In this whole uh, workflow, we didn't even need the georeferencing command thanks to the SX10 total station feature. Um, you can use this uh, strategy when you need to move the SX10 dataset from an arbitrary location to a predefined state plane or projection location. In this data set, we only have two stations, therefore I have to uh, set up the back site for both of them. But if you have multiple stations sitting in one job and all the following stations are based on a back site to the previous one or two stations, you don't have to do the same thing for all the stations. Instead, as long as you have the first one station or the first two stations set up in this way, all the following stations will be recomputed by TVC automatically. Thank you for watching.